are you using Salesforce for your CRM and HubSpot for your marketing? Have you been noticing lately that you have a lot of sync errors between both platforms? Worse yet, have you been trying to create reports and you're not getting the data that you expected? My name is Risa. I'm from Kakao Media, HubSpot certified agency, and you're watching Kakao Media Pod Tips. One of the reasons you're experiencing so many errors between Salesforce and HubSpot is simply because the fields are not defined correctly in Salesforce and HubSpot. Three of the most common fields that need to be defined correctly are contact owner, lead source, and life cycle stage. Let's begin with contact owner. In Salesforce, you have users for each of your sales professionals, and therefore all the leads are assigned to different sales professionals. Each of these sales professionals need to have an account open for them in HubSpot. You need to open them as a user, so therefore when the information is synced over, it will automatically match the leads that are coming under specific sales professionals to that same sales professional in HubSpot. Oftentimes the case is that a sales professional has left your company and you have not updated the information with the new sales professional that has replaced them. So when you do have a new sales person, do open them also a user in HubSpot and make sure and update a workflow or create a workflow that updates all the leads that were under the old salesperson's name under this new person's names. So when the sync occurs again, it will update accordingly. The second field that is often problematic is lead source. Lead source is a predefined field in Salesforce, but not in HubSpot. Lead source is actually defined as web, referrals, partners, conferences, etc. In Salesforce, these sources, these lead source is actually used to automatically define where a lead comes from. In HubSpot, you must create that field separately. If you do not create that field separately, you will not be able to sync it. Note, those both fields are customizable in both platforms. So if you have other lead sources you wish to include, do update them now, this is your chance to do so. The last field, but most tricky one, is life cycle stage. Life cycle stage is most important, especially when wanting to define and identify customers. In Salesforce, you have three main fields that actually, three main properties that actually define and collect the information about life cycle stage. You have leads, you have accounts, and you have um, opportunities. Opportunities are where you actually calculate and define the different sales pipeline and the different deal stages that a contact goes through to become a customer. In HubSpot, this is done under deals. So you must create the same cycle or the same pipeline in Salesforce and HubSpot. So when the leads are syncing over and it becomes a customer or an opportunity, it will be defined and updated accordingly. If this is too much trouble, there's good news for you. HubSpot has recently launched an integration that allows you to import leads directly from Salesforce into HubSpot. So every month I suggest that you use that import field, click on it and just click Salesforce and therefore collect all the information you want that to be updated in HubSpot to come into HubSpot. With one click, you can do this now and it saves you all the trouble of making sure that your syncs don't work properly. So feel free to leave me any questions or comments you have about your sync between Salesforce and HubSpot. And should you have any further questions, feel free to also email me at researchkakaomedia.co. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you next time.